starting off with some sad news, uh, some inevitable news, and some surprising news. Uh, rest in peace, Betty White, America's grandma, one of the golden girls, one of the most lovely, sweet women uh, to be in pop culture for so many years. Is so surprising. I had no idea that Betty White was 99 years old. And uh, so just shy of her 100th birthday, uh, she passed away. Don't know the specifics, but she was old. So there's a lot of things that kill old people these days. Uh, hopefully it wasn't COVID. That would have been... Uh, there might be riots. Nah, there probably wouldn't. If Betty White, putting this out there, what do you think? If Betty White died of COVID, right, because she spent Christmas and her relatives were anti-vaxxers, they're big Joe Rogan experience listeners, and they think that their immune system is enough, and they gave Betty White COVID, and that's what killed her, uh, would there be riots if we knew that information? I don't know. People love Betty White. I love Betty White. But she's got like she's got like a massive following. So this post is uh, the farewell Betty tributes left on her uh, star on the Walk of Fame in Hollywood. Um, you know, just uh, I was a fan of Golden Girls in my childhood. You know, back in the day where there were only two or three channels available. And that was one of the shows, and I think it played on reruns. So it's just one of those shows that you ended up watching. And I enjoyed the show. I don't know if, you know, there's today that seems like there's a renaissance of love for this show. Uh, but, uh, you know, she's like one of those people where, you know, it was nice to see a good person just live for 99 years. That's ridiculous. We should all be so lucky. We should all be so lucky. I mean, she was one of the sweetest humans. And she's one of the people, despite being 99 years old, she's unlike most people who use born in a different generation, born in a different time. It was a different time. You don't hear about the stories of Betty White being racist, being a bigot, being any of the hateful things that everybody loves to use the, oh, it was a different time. She was always a positive, sweet person. And I don't know. I would imagine her biography is an amazing ride, an amazing read. Uh, and hopefully there's there will be – it would be cool for – I think Aaron Sorkin does uh, like biopic type of movies pretty well because he doesn't try to condense a life into a two-hour movie. He just kind of chooses a story – I recently watched uh, Being the Ricardos, I think it's called, about Lucy, uh, you know, uh, Lucille Ball and Desi, and they're doing their show. And it's just, it follows them in like a week of their life, but it, it really, through the storytelling and the writing, is able to flesh out who these people were and what they were about in a way that most, autobi or most biopics don't do. So I would love to see, it's one of the few things I, I enjoy from Aaron Sorkin, but I think he tackles, I really enjoyed how he did that movie. And I would love to see him do one about Betty White. I'm sure there's tons of stories that I have zero knowledge of. Uh, but yeah, just one of the greats, gone. Um, but like so many of these famous people that are dying, which is happening left and right, None of them, I guess Robin Williams was like the biggest one for me. That one, that one hurt. Anthony Bourdain kind of hurt too. Both of those being suicide. Brody Stevens, uh, which, you know, I was only becoming a fan of. Got to see him perform only once or twice. Saw him on many pot, but it's like when they, they kill themselves, heartbreaking, heartbreaking. But a lot of these other people like Betty White, Despite I'm sad of her death, I'm happy she lived a, a long and assumably very happy life. Uh, so that's great. So rest in peace, Betty White. And for those that are really sad and mourning about her, she was like your hero. I, I mean, it, you picked a good hero. 
like people that follow Betty White and like admire Betty White. I, I understand that far, far more than like just a lot of other it's it's weird how people idolize people 